I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. You know what I'm saying? My mom and my dad paid for my trip two months ago. And I'm not about to let some little ass virus stop me from having fun. I came here to slap some ass and smoke some grass. You know what I'm saying? Ha! Huh? It's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think... Spend some time with your family, paint, do something wholesome for one shit. All you got, all you thoughts want to do is drink and smoke weed and be out and about. Stay your ass home for once. Jesus. Yeah, we need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. We need to address that. Homeboy, you look like you ain't even going hungry. What the hell are you talking about hunger and poverty? You ass look like you finished all the hunger and the poverty. Fuck out of here. So these spring breakers have been pissing me off. Honestly, this is by far the most stupidest thing, and it only happens here in the United States. Why in the United States? Because everybody here is dumb as shit. So these spring breakers thought it'd be a good idea to still go to Miami, Florida, regardless of the warnings regarding the C virus. As you guys know, we don't mention the virus up in here because we don't want to get demonetized. But anyways, these mofos thought it'd be a good idea to go and party up in here. There was so many people that ended up going to the beach whenever that was one of the main warnings to keep some social distancing. They didn't give a shit. They're out there smashing and passing, drinking, smoking, doing whatever they can to enjoy the little bits of life. They say whatever happens, happens. But as soon as they're sick and they're on their dying bed, oh, fuck, I should have, I should have been that stupid. I have no faith in humanity and no faith in the United States, especially we are by far the dumbest country when it comes to the youth. All these kids, you know, they couldn't wait a couple more months, maybe postpone it till summertime. Go to Miami Beach in summertime whenever the coronavirus is gone or we have a a vaccine of something no hell no they were like I, I just pay you know my parents paid for my flight i'm not gonna let this just go away just like that i'm gonna take advantage of this i'm gonna have a come out here and have a good time stupid ignorant people by far the shittiest people that we can ever possibly imagine and the reason that it triggers me so bad is because they may not even get sick even though majority of the people in this video looked sick all of them looked sick they had like red rosy cheeks and they looked out of it and pale they could potentially carry the virus you know whenever they go back home or wherever they're from give it to their grandparents give it to their little brothers and sisters but honestly they don't give a shit on they can care less about their family or other people you know the fact that that's pretty much the truth they if they really did care they would have stayed home and recognize that this is an issue going on right now and obviously the government wouldn't be telling us to do something if it wasn't for a reason all right that's a lie you know government is kind of head ass sometimes but for the most part regarding this obviously everybody in the world knows that this is something to not be taken lightly people are dying even younger people here um it doesn't matter the age you know if you're 20 25 18 19 whatever if you're young you're still able to get the virus and still able to get sick and die but obviously Death does not fear these children here. They don't. They don't care. They're just here to, to, you know, party, get lit, and try to experience life as much as possible here on this beach. I was looking at the names of these people here, and they have like they have they they do look like their names literally fit up to the way they look. Look at this guy, Brady Slutter. He's probably by far one of the first ones. Obviously, everybody's been talking about this guy just because he is the biggest meme right now on Twitter. For his stupid actions and everybody else in this video is probably going to be put on blast i hope that they get put on blast for their stupidity um but their names like i said it's like their parents the fact that they named them this shit they look like the type of people to be out here doing this shit this one's uh we got brianna brianna what is this girl's name's brianna brianna leader atlantis walker shelby cordell a bunch of goofy names and a bunch of goofy people unfortunately you know that we have to sit here and share this country with and uh, but you know what? Regardless, this is uh, natural selection at its finest. I'm more than sure that they are gonna get sick. Hopefully they don't. You know, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that they get sick or have to experience that because from what I heard, it's not very fun and it is pretty painful. And obviously, you know, you do end up dying. But this is natural selection at its finest, taking its course on those that are stupid. You know, I really hope that these people don't end up having kids because. That's just going to be, I feel bad for, you know, my kids in the future. They're going to have to deal with these type of people. Do not breed, please. But honestly, I'm pissed off at the people that raised these people. They're the reason that they act like this. Parents out there, if you end up watching this and you see that your child's up on here, I want you guys to know that you did a bad job. You did a very bad job with your child. Unfortunately, you know, you ended up raising one of these uh, ignorant little bastards. But, I mean, that's your guys' problem to deal with now.
it's crazy to see too because i feel like a lot of these kids are college students and they're obviously coming from school but yet they seem so uneducated and stupid their intelligence level is that of a squirrel or something all right all right, all right. we're just roasting on these guys now that that's good enough i don't think we should go any more harder than we have already on them we're gonna have it enough i'm getting the c virus like I said, though, stupidity at its finest. Hope you guys don't take up after these idiots. Please stay home. Please continue to be quarantined. Or not quarantined, but, you know, stay at your house. Enjoy time with your family, your friends, whatever. But make sure that they all are safe and you guys are all safe. And continuing to practice that uh, social distancing because we don't want this to spread any more than it already has. And I know people are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You know, there's other things going on. But there are obviously people dying. And uh, as we can see, you know, a lot of shit is shutting down, so they wouldn't be closing all these things for a reason. Maybe there is some type of a conspiracy behind it or something else going on. But the fact of the matter is the virus is still existing, still is there. So I would not be stupid and try to uh, approach this a different way opposed to these ignorant people. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I've been Handsome Mark. We'll see you guys later.